Hey guys, welcome back to my studio. It's been a hot minute since we have been in here to record because I kind of took December off for the most part. Yeah. Everything you saw was recorded way in advance, so feels good to be back in here, but I'm a bit rusty. Anyway, we're doing some oil painting today. So I have a gessoed canvas here, and you probably saw the... And you probably already saw the title. Can I paint water? That's the question today. So I actually did paint a little water painting in my last video, the tiny paintings video, but we're gonna take it larger now. We're gonna use some oil paint. And I really actually just want to learn some stuff and do some observational art to get into the new year. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's get started. We don't need long intros in 2020. All right, blank canvas. We're gonna mix this in with our base coat because I want it to dry pretty fast. I'm gonna thin this out a little bit because we don't want it to be super thick, you know? I don't actually do a lot of oil painting on my channel. It's usually pretty time consuming, a couple day or week process, so. We're gonna start the year off interestingly. <laughs> By the way, if you guys are curious about anything I am using, I am trying to get better at linking everything in my description. <laughs> so go check it out. I've been slacking on that lately and I know some of you guys like to know what I use. So I will try to remember this time. This is a beautiful color. This is actually the color my bedroom was growing up. All right, let's come back tomorrow and do the actual painting. Okay, it's the next day. Everything on the base coat is dry. I actually did a different painting last night, like waiting on this to dry. So my creative juices are flowing. Okay, I have my reference photo over here. I'm going to, um, I guess just start with the darkest colors because water is like this weird, I think people see it differently. And the way I'm seeing it, I'm gonna start with my darkest colors, all right? which is funny because I think the last time I did this, I started with lighter colors, but that was watercolor, so. Ah, new brushes, how satisfying. <laughs> All right, so there's this like giant ripple at the bottom. I kind of blocked out some lines too, just so I can get things the way I want. <laughs> it kind of looks like an alligator. Am I right or am I right? Okay, something that's really interesting with this, it's easy to lose your place. <laughs> Very easy. I've lost where I am a couple times. So I have like a grid drawn on my reference picture so I can help myself a little bit, but I don't want to do that for this completely. I kind of want to go about it a little more organically. <laughs> I'm at a fun point right now because the ripples are getting smaller, they're taking more interesting shapes, and I'm incorporating like depth with this. We'll see if I can make this look like water. What do you guys think is gonna happen? You think I can do it? I'm also trying to hold my brush really loosely just uh, so I don't tighten up and screw this up. You know what I'm saying? That would suck. No! I lost my spot. Come on. Where was I? Oh, wait. There's a ripple here. He's a little guy. Like this. Does this just look like a mountain range to you? I don't know. <laughs> Woo! 
Okay, we have a lot of dark ripples blocked in. Now we need to do like the mid-tones and stuff and then keep layering. I don't know. I just got really intimidated, okay? <laughs> Very intimidated, but the only way to learn is if you do, right? You know, I really admire the people who do this as like their main art theme is water. I follow some artists who do this and man, I have to just give you some credit. This is hard. I mean, it's kind of satisfying to do this, not gonna lie, but I simultaneously feel hopeful and hopeless because I want to learn and water is beautiful, but I keep losing my place and it's really hard to get back to it. I think I feel a little more optimistic now that I've blocked out more mid-tones down here. Hopefully once all of it's blocked out and I start doing like other colors and details, it feels better. I feel like oil makes the most sense for me because I can block in all this color for hours and then go back in and blend it because it'll stay wet, you know? What did I get myself into? This is rough. Like, I'm just at a spot right now where mentally this is like, man, I'm looking at this reference and then I'm like looking at this and... <laughs> Ow, that actually hurt. We almost have all of this color filled in. I actually feel like it's starting to look like water, but we have so much to do yet. And ah, this is fun now, this is really fun. I went through my hopeless stage, I got through it. Now I'm in a more hopeful stage and I'm enjoying it. So to any artists out there who struggle with like feeling hopeless during their process, I just want to give you some encouragement that it is temporary and you can get through it and um, I don't know sometimes it just it really takes a lot of hours and coming back to your piece again and again to get excited about it so hopefully this is inspiring for you even though I'm in the middle of this imperfect process I'm just trying to be transparent and share it and just be real with you guys so yeah So not to get like overly deep or anything, but because I've had to change my perspective a lot with this, it has made me think about my life a little bit and like, oh, maybe I could change my perspective on some things, like, you know?
All right, here it is. Uh, this is my baby right here. I feel like I poured my heart into this all day long. <laughs> but in all honesty, this was a really good learning experience. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I struggled through it with the highs and the lows. This is a goal that I have been wanting to conquer for, I don't know, probably six months or so. And fear has always kept me from going for it. But if there's anything I learned with this, you just gotta do it, you know? And I'm really, really glad I confronted my fears and just painted the surface of water. I'm really happy with it and I'm excited to learn more about this and do more oil painting this year. That'll be fun. Whoa, it looks so crazy far away. Up close. Far back. Oh, that's so cool. Do, do, do. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. I'm gonna sit this down, cause it is wet. And with my luck, well, it will probably end up like everywhere in this room or on me or something. So yeah, okay, bye.